This is becoming something of a fixture in Thai political life. The country's top court ruling to oust a prime minister. The judges offered a long explanation for their verdict. From examining the evidence, they said the court was unanimous that Yingluck Shinawat had transferred her national security advisor improperly and to the benefit of a family member. The judges also ordered nine cabinet ministers to resign with her. She had governed as prime minister for just over a thousand days, a political novice when she was elected and inevitably tainted by her controversial brother, former Prime Minister Taksin. At first, her simple conciliatory style mollified her opponents. But by the end of last year, she, like previous leaders of her party, was confronted by a determined and well-funded protest movement that was able to paralyze parts of the capital and sabotage an election that she called for last February. Her departure is a victory for the anti-government movement and was greeted with jubilation. But they didn't get all they wanted from the verdict. I'm not 100% happy as I was hoping the whole government would be out of power. Whatever legal justifications they've given today, the judges here know that many Thais will view this as essentially a political verdict by a court that's ruled against Miss Yingluck's party many times in the past. They may have broken the deadlock for now, but they've done little to resolve Thailand's deep political crisis. Much now depends on how her red shirt supporters respond. They've always said they would resist what they see as a judicial coup. But with the government they back still clinging tenuously to office, this may not yet be the moment they choose to show their hand. Jonathan Head, BBC News, Bangkok.